Hey guys, how's it going? Francisco Bologna here. Have I got an update for you? So basically, to explain. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I have updated my studio. So as you can see, I got the brand new Q-Lock dual keyboard stand. And as you can see from the video, I got Jam Equinox at the bottom, Yamaha Motif at the top. And I know what you guys are probably wondering, whatever happened to the Akai Max 49. Well, here's the thing. I am actually selling it because I no longer need it. Because, and this is the follow-up to my Motif Accept review. I can officially confirm that now, ladies and gentlemen, I can go into do remote control and now I can use sonar. So let me show you how I did that. Okay, so in order to transform your Motif XF into a MIDI controller for Sonar, what you're gonna wanna do is click on Utility. From there, you're usually, your first page is always gonna be in General. So what you're gonna wanna do is go right to Control, which is F5. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna click SF2, which is MIDI. From there, these are the settings you're gonna have to put. For the interface MIDI in and out, you're gonna have to set it to USB. MIDI sync would be MTC, clock out would be on, sequencer control in and out. And finally, if you actually do not want any sound whatsoever coming out of your Motif XF, you usually set local control to off. Once you're ready, you press the store button. And there you have it. And for those of you that are wondering, how do you get sound out onto Motif XF into Sonar, well, it's actually quite simple. The best thing to do would be to use the audio interface, that being the Zoom R16. As you can actually see here, I got a second audio output, and this one is coming straight from Motif XF. So, with that being said, now that we have our control ready, let's go right into Sonar. And now we'll show you how to set everything up from there. Okay, so first things first with Sonar, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go on the internet and you're gonna wanna go to the Yamaha website because the first thing you're gonna have to do if you want the motive to talk with Sonar, you're gonna have to download the latest version of the Yamaha USB MIDI drivers. Once you do that, you get that up and running. Cakewalk Sonar should detect Motif XF as if it was detecting the audio interface. So just like before, it would be automatic as soon as you boot up Cakewalk Sonar, provided of course, if the MIDI driver is installed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into an empty project. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna turn off update for now. I'll do the update later. But uh, yeah, basically now we have an empty track. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into edit and I'm gonna go straight to preferences. Now this is where things are gonna get uh, a little bit hairy. Okay, so for whatever reason, my mini USB hub just needed to be replugged. But basically now we have all four ports of Motif XF. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is put Basically, all four ports enabled. Once you do that, you click Apply, and then you click OK. The next thing you have to do is go right into your control surfaces, and this is where you're gonna have to do two things. What you're gonna have to do is install an ActMIDI controller for the Yamaha Motif XF6, input and output, and then you're gonna have to put a Mackie control. The Mackie control is basically what's gonna control the sequencer, so, and just to quickly clarify, what I've done is I've set Act MIDI controller to port 1, as well as Mackie control to port 2. The Mackie control, this is what you use to control the transport controls for Motif XF. So, with that being said, let's go open up the Mackie control and see how we do it. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the X button since we already have Motif already set up. 
And the first thing we're gonna do is go to Utilities, and instead of Act MIDI, we're gonna go into Mackie Control. So here is my current official setup for Mackie Control. As you can see from F1, I've got Start, Stop, Rewind. F2, I got Play, Pause. F3 is Stop. So basically when I press F2, basically it's gonna play the track. If I press F3, it's gonna stop the transport. If I click F4, it's gonna insert a MIDI track. F5 will open up the soft synth. F6 will arm the separate track that's selected. F7 will quantize, and F8 is basically to turn looping on and off. So how do I access all of this? Well, first things first, remote on and off. And then from there, I use basically these little arrows right here, and you access them by these little buttons next to the knobs. So basically, if I move, if I press this button, then all the buttons on the screen will change. If I do the same with the bottom, then the same will apply, etc., etc. And what I'm looking for is the function section. Function section has functions 1 to 8, and this is where all of the Mackie control comes into play. So as you can see, the Mackie controls are there, and all the Mackie controls will correspond to these sections here. So let's go ahead and let's create a MIDI track. First thing though that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn off the um, arm track thing and let's give it a try, shall we? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit F4. I've created a MIDI track. So uh, the next thing I wanna do is I want to insert a soft synth. Now, at this point, I pretty much shot myself in the foot because right now there is no MIDI instrument attached to this MIDI track. So one moment while I get that set up. Okay, so with my MIDI track selected, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to right click and I'm gonna have to insert an instrument here. Once I do that, I'm gonna have the option to select which instrument I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm just gonna go MIDI only and then here is my setup. So these are all the VSTs that I currently have in my Cakewalk Sonar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick Kick 2 and I'm gonna hit Create. There we go. So there we have Kick 2. I guess we can delete this. So I need to find a way to get rid of the Insert MIDI track and change it with an Insert Instrument. So find out how this works. Okay, so we got the synthesizer ready to go. The next thing is I wanna hit F5 because I wanna see this VST. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and press F5. And as you could tell from Modifix F, it actually works. Now, because we have port one, we can actually play it and you can actually hear. So now I'm gonna go ahead, arm it. And I'm gonna press F6. So with F6, the track is now armed. So now I can go ahead and I can hit record. Hit stop. And now I'm gonna go ahead, if I can just minimize this. Now I just select this, select the track. F7, and there we have it. We have the quantize feature. So now I'm just gonna audition here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. So with that, drag this all the way here, go back to the very beginning and play it back. Okay, yeah, there seems to be some uh, there seems to be some uh, minor adjustments that need to be made, but it does go to show you that Modifix F does in fact work with Sonar. So yeah, that ladies and gentlemen is how to set up Modifix F with Cakewalk Sonar. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.